Understanding Permanent Alimony, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very specific but important phrase in the English language, permanent alimony. This term is often used in legal contexts, particularly in discussions about divorce and financial settlements. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what permanent alimony means and how it is used. So, let's dive in. Permanent alimony is a combination of two words, permanent and alimony. Let's look at each word individually. Permanent. This word means lasting or intended to last or remain unchanged indefinitely. In the context of alimony, it suggests a long-term or ongoing arrangement. Alimony. Alimony is a financial support paid by one ex-spouse to the other after divorce. It's designed to provide financial assistance to the spouse who might not be as financially stable after the separation. So, permanent alimony refers to an ongoing financial support arrangement from one ex-spouse to another, which is intended to continue indefinitely, often until certain conditions are met, like the recipient getting remarried. In many countries, permanent alimony is a legal concept. It's important in cases where one spouse has a significantly higher income than the other, the couple has been married for a long time, one spouse may have sacrificed career opportunities for the family, Courts consider various factors before awarding permanent alimony, such as the length of the marriage, the age and health of each spouse, and their future earning capacities. Permanent alimony isn't just a legal term. It also has cultural and social implications. It raises questions about financial independence and fairness in relationships the changing dynamics of marriages and how society views the roles of spouses. The debate over whether permanent alimony is outdated or still necessary. Understanding these aspects can help learners grasp the term's significance beyond its legal use. That's all on permanent alimony. We hope this video has helped clarify what this term means and why it's important in certain contexts especially legal ones. Remember, understanding such terms not only improves your English language skills but also your knowledge of different cultural and social aspects. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.